Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you've read in the title, I am going to be doing a full face of makeup using samples. <laughs> so, you know how when you shop at Sephora or when you shop anywhere, I guess, basically online and you buy beauty products, you get free samples. So I have been like collecting these samples every time I go online and I'm like, okay, I'm going to order it online because I get free samples. Yeah, I get free samples, that's great, but I end up with like a whole drawer of free samples that I never even try, never even open. Usually if it's a moisturizer or something, I'll try it out, but sample makeup like, like this, okay? Paper, Estee Edit, and you get like these swatches of lipsticks, okay? I never open them. Make it forever, same, never open them. Not as blush, it's just paper with one tiny thing. So I thought, why not make a whole tutorial of full face just using sample products because this drawer is pretty full. So mostly in here I have um, just regular samples. Some are deluxe samples, like I have this Tarte um, mascara, this like miniature Too Faced chocolate palette, say, um, and then this little Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, um, Marine Mist. I have small things in here that are deluxe samples. This little guy, if you want to count it as a deluxe sample. Um, but these were all free products. Like you, you spend a certain amount of money, you get a free little sample, stuff like that. So instead of letting this stuff go bad, we're gonna do a full face using these products. So if you're interested in this video, and keep watching. I have a bunch of foundation primers, and I, there are certain things that I have a bunch of, but I'm going to try to use ones that I've never used before. So for example, for primer, I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and then I have the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I've tried the Smashbox one, I've never tried the Mineral Veil one, so I'm, that's the one I'm gonna be using. Look at this. Okay, so I'm just gonna separate these real quick and decide what I'm going to be using today, and then I will be right back. I'm excited. And these are the products that I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit and um, I'll let you guys know what each item is as soon as I go for it. So we're going to start off with a moisturizer and for moisturizer today I'm going to be using the Sephora Instant Moisture and Cream Hyaluronic Acid Booster. That's what it looks like. I gotta make sure I don't mess up in this tutorial because there's there's no there's no re redos because I only have like enough for one portion. Of everything. So, mmm, smells lovely. Moving on, we're going to do some priming. I'm going to grab the Mineral Veil Mineral Primer Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Oil Free by Hourglass. Okay. Mm. It's very creamy. I expected it to be. Oh, that was an interesting texture. Okay. Next, I'm going to take this Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination by It Cosmetics. And I'm going to use this underneath my eyes. I'm also going to use it to do a little bit of spot correcting later because I don't have another concealer. So I'm just going to put a little bit because this stuff is really thick. So just a little bit, and I'm actually just going to use my finger that'll heat the product and spread it out. Very nice. Okay, let's do a little bit of spot correcting also. So just here. Lovely. I think I'm ready to go already. Okay, next we have foundation. So I have two different kinds of foundation. I have this Lancome. Tom Idol Ultra. 24 hours of long wear. So I have actually tried this before, and then we have this other one by a more Pacific color co color control cushion compact SPF 50. And this is interesting because I was playing with this. Look at this. It's a little bud. Like who's gonna use this little guy? I don't know, man. But I think I think it's a CC cream. It says CC on it. See up here. Let's see, I think. Um, I've tried the Lancome one, but I've never tried this, so I'm curious. Oh, it's actually a cushion. 
see it's a little cushion and this is in tan blush number 104 and I don't want to like make a mess so I'm just gonna grab my beauty blender and kind of like push it into it doesn't really smell like anything and see what kind of color that is hmm. it's actually quite nice so I'm gonna try that so since this is a CC cream It'll probably have a little lighter coverage, which I don't mind because when I spot correct, I don't mind having a little bit less coverage because as long as my little acne spots are covered, then I'm good. It's a little bit of a shine to it. That's not making my face completely matte, which is all right. And actually, I'm glad I went with a CC cream because I don't really have a powder to set my face. Let's do some powders next. I have this bronzing powder by NARS and this blush, also by NARS. So let's work with those. I don't know why my camera is spazzing out of control. So let's, like, I'm just taking a clear brush and like maybe Maybe it'll dry it down because I don't have. You know, last week, Sephora had the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and the sample is a free, like I think it was for 100 points, the samples, and I really should have gotten it. If I knew I was going to make this video, that would have been so helpful because I'm kind of dying inside right now. But all right, let's, so let's move to powder. So I'm going to open this up and I've never, I've never opened up one of these before. So I don't know what to expect. I was just gonna fall out. Oh no, it stays in place actually quite well. So this is it. And, hmm, okay. I'm gonna dust that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna dust that on my face. Ooh, that's some nice pigment actually. Oh, gotta look at what shade this is. I've never owned a, um, Bronzer in the shade Laguna. Oh, this is Get Glowing with NARS Laguna. So this is Laguna. It always, I feel like it always looks so much darker online than it is in real life. All right, so this is feeling a little bit better with the powder. Now let's do Orgasm by NARS. And I have tried this before and I do love it and I really should go get it. I think, I think I'm gonna do the half and half palette. I should, I really should. Especially with summer coming, um, this, this combo is just out of this world. All right, so let's get our blush and shimmer on. I always like to add a little bit of blush to my eyes, my eyelids. All right, let's grab that buffer blush, brush and just kind of just a little bit together. Maybe it'll distribute a little bit of powder everywhere. Okay. I think we're doing good. So this is what we have. This is what we have so far. I'm pretty happy with it. I really like all the products that I have. Okay, so let's prime the eyes. And I have this little packet by Urban Decay. And I've tried Sin. I have Sin. So let's do the anti-aging one. And that is, that's just what it's called, anti-aging. It's nude, color corrects, and blurs flaws. So we all need that. So I'm just gonna cut that up. Take a little bit of that right onto the back of my hand and using my finger, I'm just going to prime. I'm going to grab a little bit of that bronzer on a brush and I'm going to just prime my lids. Just put a little powder down. That's good. That's good. Now I'm going to go into this Too Faced little chocolate palette. And I got this, it was like for 200 points or something on Sephora. And I'm going to grab this salted caramel shape right here. And I'm going to work that into my crease. I've never tried any eyeshadows by Too Faced. Now I'm going to go into Semi Sweet, which is this dark shade, and smoke out the outer V. And 
And then I'm also going to take a small brush like this with the Semi Sweet. And I'm going to run that along my lower lash line and connect it. All right, so let's get a bigger buffing brush. You just buff that out. I'm going to grab the Bye Bye Under Eye, and I'm going to put a little bit on my hand, just the tiniest bit. And then I'm going to grab a little concealer brush, and I'm going to pack that on. I'm going to create kind of like a cut crease. So next I'm going to grab this Morphe brush and I'm actually going to spray it with this Rainforest of the Sea Mar Marine Mist, Marine Boosting Mist. And I'm going to dunk it into the Champagne Truffle shade. Okay, I'm going to pack that. Let's try a different brush. Let's try this brush by Lottie London. Spraying that, dipping it into truffle. Ooh, very nice. Bring it all the way into my inner eye. Okay, then I'm going to go back into salted caramel, this brush, and I'm going to just work that a little bit over. Just a little bit, the outer corner into the crease. And then I'm also going to take this brush and grab the darker semi-sweet shade, kind of pack that on just a little bit, and then blend it in. And we'll just buff it out. On the top. Yes, yes. Lovely, lovely. And that's what we got so far. We're going to grab this brush again and put some more semi sweet beneath the eye. And then I'm going to take this brush by Morphe, dust it off, go into that champagne truffle shade, and bring it down. Then I'm just going to, where is my blending brush? And just blend that out. We have done underneath the eye. Next, I'm going to grab this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And to be completely honest, I have never used this mascara before. So let's see. So I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to go in with a second coat. While that is drying a little bit, I'm going to grab this Gimme Brow by Benefit. Focus, focus. And it's just this little tinted brow gel. This is in number three. And I'm just going to add a little color. I'll use the, like the tip of it to kind of disperse a little extra product into my patchy areas. See, it just gives them a little bit of darkness. You see the difference? So you'll see it. I put a little product up here because I have a bald spot. Fill in my little bald spot. See, look at the difference. Those beautiful things, this product. Okay, so mascara should be dry. Let's add one more layer of it. No joke, I feel like I'm wearing falsies. Can you see it? Looks like my lashes are going to touch my lids. Look at these lashes. It's crazy, huh? Now I'm going to go into my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Highlighter in Stunner called Stunner. Oh, I love how it matches so pretty with my nails. <laughs> okay, and if I could just get this open. Uh, I'm just going to use a brush. Okay, got it open. It looks pretty full. It looks pretty full. It looks very promising. I just need to grab a brush. Grab this. A brush. Okay. 
Grand to Granny Smell Brush and put that a little bit under my just gonna add a little extra lightener just on top of it. I already have. So my camera, no joke, won't stay on. I think I've exhausted it. Okay. Probably would be better if I went in with a brush, but whatever. This is what we're doing. I like this. It's a lot lighter on my lips. I think I'm actually going to take some of that tart highlighter and kind of just put some in the center. All right, then, since we don't have any setting spray, this could be totally a bad idea, but I'm gonna take this Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. I'm just gonna spray it all over my face. I'm just gonna spray, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm not even spraying it on me. I'm not even spraying it on me, I'm spraying it over there. It smells citrusy and lovely. And this is the finished look. And I cannot believe that all of this came out of a box of samples that I never thought I'd use ever. I'm going to keep this makeup on for the day and um, I may, I know I'm just sticking around at home for now, but I may be going out to get some food later and then I may be going to play tennis. Not quite sure, but I'll keep this on and then I will do a check-in later on. Bye. Hey guys, so here is a little update. It is 8.30 now, so that means that this makeup has been on for about nine hours and I refrained from touching up. I haven't blotted, haven't done anything. You gotta remember, considering I did not um, set this stuff, it is a CC cream, it's not a full-on foundation, but still, um, I do have combination skin, so I am prone to oiliness in certain areas, but all in all, I think this still looks great. I ate, so the lipstick, gone, but it didn't claim to be long-lasting, it didn't claim to be butch-proof, kiss-proof, all that stuff, so we're good on that. I must say, I have already gone onto the Sephora website and ordered the NARS Laguna Bronzer and the NARS Orgasm and the Mineral Veil by Hourglass and the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara because I am in love with all these products. And I never would have tried them, I don't think, or I probably eventually would have tried them, but I wouldn't have tried them today had it not been for the samples. So really excited about that. Um, my face is a little shiny here and here. I mean, here the highlight is still going pretty strong. Looking under the brow bone, on the brow bone, looks pretty good. The... The eyeshadow looks, it looks great. The mascara hasn't transferred underneath, which is pretty good because I saw online that they also have a waterproof one, but I figured I tried the regular one, not the waterproof one, so I didn't want to mess with it because I really like this one, and so I want to get this one. <laughs> so yeah, the blush is still going pretty good. Look at the highlight, that's great. This is the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Highlight. Um, eyebrows still going strong. I think my face still looks pretty good nine hours later. So, yeah, I filmed at 11 and it's 8.30, so nine and a half hours. And that's, that's all I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this first impression slash full face using only samples. And if you did enjoy it, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you'd like me to try it again. I'll be a, a little bit of a hoarder for a little while. Uh, I have a couple of orders that I'm about to put through on Sephora and Ulta, and I will be sure to pick out samples that I know I can use in the future. So I'm going to go wash my face. It doesn't feel bad. My face doesn't feel um, dirty or anything, but I'm looking a, a tad bit oily, and uh, I don't like to look oily. But yeah. So again, thanks for sticking around and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell if you'd like to be notified when I post new things. Check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.